Hello, I'm Brandi Ackerbeck of Loosetooth.com, and today is a happy day because I get to fill in the second eye of my Daruma doll. So if this little red roly-poly guy is new to you, this is a Daruma doll, a Japanese Daruma doll. It is made out of paper mache, it's hollow in the inside, but it's weighted at the bottom. And not only is he just a curious little object, he's a fantastic goal setting tool. So when you get a Daruma doll, it arrives with both eyes white, no pupils in the center. And um, what you do is you get a Daruma doll, you set your intention on a specific goal, and you paint in the first eye. Now his shape, I've heard a couple different stories, and I'm sure there's many, but one is um, a little macabre. The idea is that this Zen Buddhist monk had meditated for nine years and was so focused that his arms and legs atrophied and fell off. <laughs> um, the Another story, which I like a lot about the shape and his roundness, is that um, it's about perseverance, that he's weighted at the bottom. If, if you tip him over, he'll right himself again. And uh, here in the US, we have these little egg-shaped toys called Weebles. I grew up with them, and they were also weighted at the bottom, and you knocked them over, and they'd right themselves up again. So Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. <laughs> so that's the story I prefer. <laughs> Not the atrophy, but the perseverance. Um, so one phrase about Daruma, which has really been a help to me through this specific goal, is fall down seven times, get up eight. So really, um, this little guy is fantastic at helping you focus, helping you keep your eye on the goal, and uh, to persevere through the project. Now, um, another thing that really works for me is the fact that you paint in the one eye and you don't paint in the second eye until you're done which means you got this oddball little guy with one eye staring at you. <laughs> and uh, those who know me well know I love symmetry. So just that simple act of that unfinished eye, for me, <laughs> is really quite motivating. Um, so what's this little guy about? Uh, I met him in Toronto. Uh, January of this year, 2016, I was having a meeting with three fellow editors. We were working on a project putting together this book, an anthology called Drawn Together Through Visual Practice. So this was our only face-to-face -face meeting in the course of this project. And um, this book came together in a single year from idea to finished physical book, which um, includes seven, 27 different authors, all talking about this broader idea of the visual practice field. So um, we had a very intense weekend editing, talking, uh, going through all the first drafts of what became the articles in this book, the final chapters, and um, amazingly productive. The four of us, Jennifer, Sam, Kelvy, and I just whew, laser focus. And um, the final morning, I was wandering around Toronto. It was bitterly cold. <laughs> I was bundled up. Um, I popped into a... Um, uh, a little shop and a little Japanese store and uh, met this guy. So I've had Daruma dolls in the past, but this guy specifically was all about finishing my second book, which while that one took a year, this puppy has taken three. Um, <clears throat> so this is my second book, The Idea Shapers, The Power of Putting Your Thinking Into Your Own Hands. So this one, bless it. <laughs> As you can see, it's done. That's why I get to fill in this guy's second eye. But holy crow, this guy was a challenge. And I really did need that phrase, fall down seven times, get up eight, um, to make it through to this final finished book. So happily, I'm going to set down the book, now available on Amazon.com, and um, paint in my little Daruma eye. So I've got my black paint over here and a little itty bitty paintbrush and I have one chance on camera <laughs> so now painting <laughs> this I know this well, you, okay let's see if I can do it this way um, I'm 
I'm being very particular because I'm particular. There is my finished Daruma. So now this little roly-poly guy who has been sitting on my desk watching me is not a symbol of the work that needs to be done. But now because he's got both eyes filled in, he's looking at me saying, high five lady, you finished your book. So that is my Daruma. Thanks so much for watching and please, 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 get your own copy of the Idea Shapers. <laughs> this is a giant book full of 24 Idea Shapers helping you learn visual thinking. And I was happy to have this little visual reminder to keep me focused and persevering on this goal of finishing this book. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Brandi Agerbeck of Loosetooth.com.